lovelies, it's Victoria and welcome to another live read. Uh, today I'm reading from my sample release of um, Emerald Beginnings, which is part of the first three chapters of A Dream of Emerald Skies, which is going to come out in a few weeks. Uh, what I wanted to do is put out a sample of the first three chapters. It is my first young adult novel that I have done and I'm really excited about it. It's a, um, my inspiration from The Wizard of Oz and put into a steampunk dreamlike world. Uh, and again, it's just inspired by The Wizard of Oz. It's not a steampunk Wizard of Oz. Um, although that's probably pretty cool too. I'm sh probably sure somebody's tried that at some point. Um, oh, that's steampunky enough. Uh, so I have that. And also another big announcement is March 1st. I will be at the Science Center's uh, First Friday, and it's a steampunk one this time, so March 1st at the St. Louis Science Center. I have um, a whole space there, and I will be introducing one of my coloring books as well at that event. Um, at least you can get a, pick up a collector's page from that book, um, and it will be that night only available that particular page um, in that element with you know, the event on there. So it'll be a collector's item. And that is coming from my first coloring book. Um, and I believe that's Mr. Uh, Dr. Barker's Beautiful Botanicals, Book of Botanicals. So it's all, uh, you know, Victorian-esque flowers and things of that nature. So, um, and I'll have some really cool patterns and mandalas and um, all kinds of fun stuff. So those are my big announcements for today. And I'm gonna just do this quick little read from Emerald. And Emerald is the story of Livy or Olivia, and she's a um, someone, a woman in her late teens, who is dealing with the pressures of school in her real life. But when she goes to sleep at night, she ends up in a place called Emerald, and Emerald is the steampunk society. This is a spinoff of my society series. Another, yes, another. Um, and why I'm doing this is I'm building this steampunk society. To be kind of like the um, the Marvel universe of characters, or like DC Comics characters, um, building my own set of them. So uh, I'm just going to read you just a little short snippet, and uh, this is Livy's, you know, one of her first adventures here. The oldest grandfather clock in the shop struck five, and both of the clock shop inhabitants sat down their tools. Well done today, Olivia. I'm thinking that you're almost ready for the most challenging work, bigger clocks and more expensive pieces. Stan removed an odd scoop contraption from his head. It allowed him to see the most minute intricacies of the tiniest timepieces. He pulled some coinage from his pocket. That'll mean more pay as well. As he put the money into Olivia's palm, he placed his hands so that they covered hers. Miss Olivia, I want you to be careful. Keep those guns loaded. You know I don't pry about your home life, but I want you to be safe. I will, Mr. Stanley, I promise. Livy winked as she pulled away, slid on her jacket, and stepped out. Stan turned back to his bench and sighed. In his heart, he knew that there was so much more at stake. Livy drove off into the dusk, back to a house that she didn't even know that well, despite staying there a few months. She always parked her bike in the back underneath an old fire escape and near rubbish piles. No one ever bothered it. Then again, it was basically a bucket of brass bolts that worked just enough to get her where she needed to go. But once Livy stepped into the back door of the forlorn house, she wasn't exactly sure of where she'd end up. So again, that's um, uh, the first three chapters are free actually for today and tomorrow. I did extend it. It was yesterday as well. Uh, but I wanted to extend that and make sure everybody had a chance because the word got out late. Um, I've got a lot of other cool announcements that are coming up uh, but I have literally been slammed with editing and um, doing other things with both books that are coming and the ones that just came out which again they're all available on Amazon and you're gonna see some major things happening with those with promotions and things that you can get um, maybe package deals wink wink so keep a hold of me at my steampunk project that wordpress.com I'll put the link at the bottom of this and also the link to where you can pick up the first three chapters of Emerald Beginnings, which is the first three chapters of A Dream of Emerald Skies. And again, it's my first young novel and it's also in the Amazon Pendant Published Contest, 
which uh, the initial parts of it ended this weekend. So the brown lady, the Kitchell, and uh, my 11th vampire story are all in those, is all in that contest. So I appreciate any um, critiques or comments you have, please do. Thank you again for watching and I will also post this on all my social media. Feel free to read the stories and again, comment, review, and share. Thanks. Um, catch me again at my steampunk project dot wordpress dot com and I'll again the link will be below where you can see what I'm up to. Thank you so much and have a great day, lovelies.